These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. <clears throat> All right, what's up everybody? Grim Green back here. Today, I'm starting my review for this little number right here from Vupu. This is the Drag M100S. I kind of have a feeling that I know a little bit what to expect from this. It's it's a newer upgraded U-Force tank. It uses a PNP coil heads. There's a 0.2, 0.15 single battery, hopefully 21700 kit. Thankfully, I really enjoy the PNP coil heads quite a bit, and despite them being mostly ugly, I really dig the U-Force tank as well. Except I'm not gonna be setting up this one with the copper and the leather. I'm gonna be setting up this one that my dog ate. Just straight up ate the packaging and even got into this cardboard. Wow, that's kind of impressive. Anyway, Drag M100S. Here's a super ugly U-Force tank. I uh, personally just don't like the look of this, but this is a good vaping tank in my opinion. I got a 0.2 PNP. It looks like the TW20, TW15, or TW1.5, TW2.0, or <laughs> that's a little bit goofy, but it is a 0.2 and a 0.15. I got a USB-C cable, a silica gel pack, and a baggie of spare O-rings. Something about the point twos calling my name, so I'm gonna go with that. Is this just a replacement glass? Yes. This is as far down as the tank breaks down. This doesn't separate in any way. The glass just slides on. Coil head just presses in, no flat side, round side, screw the bottom on. Airflow is easily movable and removable and doesn't have any hard stops. So you just kind of have to stop and line it up. Going with own boy, blueberry custard, because I don't know what it is. For some reason, his blueberry custard just ends up in all of my Vupu stuff. Now we can get the device out. Honestly, I mean, this is pretty cool looking. I, this is like a nice change of pace from all of the normal drag stuff. Looks a little bit more slick. Trap door on the bottom. 18650 adapter, that means 21700s, yeehaw. One, two, three, four, four. Oh, hi, it's already on. Okay, I didn't even turn it on. Airflow feels a little hollow, but overall, I kind of like the way this looks and feels. That does not feel like that needs to be woken up. Has the gene chip finally got rid of that? Go to sleep, little voopoo. All right, that looks very asleep to me. Yeah, it fired right away. I think the wake up feature is gone in the gene chip. That's crazy. But there is now a physical lock on the bottom. That's pretty sick. Pressing the up down buttons together gets me to a menu where we can choose the mode between smart, RBA, eco, TC, or back. Let's just keep it on smart for now. Back into the menu. We can decide what the switch does. We can have it just lock the wattage, lock everything, or power the whole thing down. That's pretty interesting. We can reset our puff counter. A about. It can change the color, but I kind of like the way it is, and we can exit. Yeehaw. Um, I mean, yeah, a 0.2 at 55 watts on a brand new PNP coil tank. Of course it's going to be vaping good. Like some other products, I'm taking this with me on a road trip up to Northern California. I'm going to see how it travels, so I'll catch up with you when I catch up with you. Car cloud chasing. Yeah! Cloud chasing the car on the way home. Almost a full month of use, and now it's going on its second road trip up California. I liked cloud chasing my car with it so much a few weeks ago that when I was gathering up vape stuff to take back up to Santa Rosa again, I thought, wow, I mean, the Vupu drag's coming with me. And with that said, I'm not sure that there's anything really super special here. It's like a slightly different design and aesthetic than other drags that have existed in the past. It's got a gene chip that does need to be woken up. It uses the PNP coil heads. I feel like I've had this sub tank 50 different times from Vupu because I always do the same thing and close my airflow down about halfway, get a little bit more restriction. It's an overall very flavorful, very pleasurable experience, but there's not anything, you know, groundbreaking or revolutionary about a single 21700 sub tank kit from Vupu other than it's the newest 21700 sub tank kit from Vupu. Cloud chase your car. So I'm going to get some gas and get back on the road. I don't want to finish this review in a car or a hotel room. So 
We'll do. I'll do it right when I get home. Promise. I believe I can fly. If someone ever asks you if Grim Green's a man of his word, you tell them yes. I literally just got home, and we are going to finish this damn Vupu drag video. This is one of my longer reviews. I've had this going for over a month, and at the end of the day, here's the thing: it's fine. It's basically fine. Like I said in the car, there's nothing like crazy new or innovative going on here. It's a nice jean chip that gives me plenty of power. It seems to have a longer time period before it falls asleep, before it needs to be woken up, before you can vape it. I like the PNP coil heads. I've had this 0.2 in here the whole time. Shows no signs of slowing down. Flavor's still busting. 60 watts, airflow halfway done. <laughs> I think we've honestly seen enough vaping from this PNP coil head. Here's the thing. Here's the last thing. These types of Vupu products generally land in like that nine banana, banana sticker area for me just because I like those PNP coil heads so much. Because this one, despite having a slightly different exterior, because it feels so familiar, even with that lock switch, I think this is gonna land in the eight banana sticker range. And again, I don't want that to reflect how well these PNP coil heads vape. I'd honestly just like to see something new from Vupu. Like, have they ever done a side-by-side? -side? Have they ever done a 21700 Drag SBS 100? Why not? I really, really liked road tripping with this. I love the consistent power. I love the consistent flavor from these PNP coil heads. In fact, the PNP coil head in some capacity is probably gonna become my go-to road trip car cloud chaser. I seriously can't believe this video is over, but it definitely is. Here's the end. I can't tell you how much these cost or where you can get them, but I can say this. Listen, if you're a person who smokes tobacco cigarettes, now's the time to switch. It's 2023, better living through science, better living through technology. There is a world of safer nicotine products out on the market. In the description of this video, I'm gonna put links to just science and just education. This has been a Grim Green video. Let's stay smoke free every single day. <laughs> it's like 10.30 and I'm uh, gonna smoke, so. I'm gonna go take a nap.